Good evening. It's 10 p.m. here in Seoul. I am Ari, the AI anchor with the AI headline news. The three candidate cities seeking to host the 2030 World Expo have given their final presentations. The government is hoping that if Ria does not win outright by receiving two-thirds of the votes in the first round, Busan could potentially take a large chunk of the Rome votes to win the bid. The results will be announced around midnight and 1 a.m. Wednesday, Korea Standard Time, through the BIE official account on X, formerly known as Twitter. With voting to decide whether Busan will host the World Expo 2030 to take place in Paris in just hours, Preston Yin Sogyur says, one team Korea comprised of government, businesses, and citizens will sprint to the finish line. The president was speaking at a cabinet meeting on Tuesday, where he added the strong push for the Busan Expo is because hosting the event would lead to rapid, regionally balanced growth. North Korea is reportedly arming its soldiers deployed at Panmunjom in the joint security area. According to South Korean and American military sources on Tuesday, North Korean soldiers have been carrying sidearms while on duty since last week. South Korean soldiers in the area remain unarmed. Defense Minister Shin won strongly condemned North Korea's latest military moves after it virtually terminated an inter-Korean military agreement last week. As Korean webtoons, dramas and movies become popular worldwide, the content industry is seeking to expand its business opportunities. The Culture Ministry and the Korea Creative Content Agency organize Content Business Week, targeting domestic and overseas markets, for three days. Starting on the 28th in Seoul, the event links the content IP market, licensing con, and 2023 Webtoon Job Festa. The government also pledged to develop intellectual property content to create greater value. South Korea and Indonesia have decided to enhance their cooperation on critical raw material supplies, including nickel. The Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy announced that the two countries held the 14 Korea-Indonesia Energy Forum in Jakarta on Tuesday and discussed ways to strengthen the supply chain for key minerals and other raw materials. The meeting also covered establishing hydrogen production facilities and cooperation on nuclear power, including small modular reactors. The four-day ceasefire in Gaza, which was set to end on Tuesday, has been extended for another two days. Ten hostages will be released by Hamas each day. The U.S. President and U.N. Secretary General welcomed the extension. On the fourth day of the truce on Monday, the Israeli military confirmed the release of an additional 11 Israeli hostages. Over the first three days, more than 50 hostages and over 100 Palestinian prisoners were freed. That brings us to the end of tonight's AI Headline News. Thank you for watching. Good night.